Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And um, what we're looking at is a metal coil mattress in the background. It has its cover removed, so we can see those coils. On top of the mattress we have a lighting circuit, which has four lighting circuits on it. And three of those are lamp dimmers. And in the foreground we have an oscilloscope that is measuring the voltage on the mattress. And as you can see right now, the voltage is quite low. And our settings are one volt per division in the vertical direction. And we have five milliseconds per division in the horizontal direction. So I think you're gonna find the waveform that is produced by lamp dimmers very interesting. So I'm gonna start by turning on our first lamp dimmer. And you should start seeing the waveform. So that waveform is what is on the mattress. And you see it's highly distorted. And now we're on full brightness, but we still have distortion in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it right down. And it's actually off right now, so let's get it back on. So we're very, very dim right now. I'm going to switch over to a function which is known as the fast Fourier transfer function. And we can see what's known as the harmonics. So on the scale, we actually have a 20 decibel scale in the vertical direction. And we have a 250 hertz per division scale in the horizontal direction. So I'm gonna play around with the lamp dimmer and we can see how that changes. And all these spikes that you can see are the harmonics. So you can see the harmonics actually change according to the particular setting you have on the lamp dimmer. So I'm gonna turn on our second lamp dimmer. Let me see if that has any effect. So I'm slowly increasing it. And we can see that the harmonic spikes actually change. So let's turn the harmonic analyzer off. So that's our waveform with two circuits on. So we can see it's much larger. So I'm gonna vary the light on this second lamp dimmer. And we can see that gives us a very highly distorted waveform. And it's also an increased waveform. So let's turn on our third lamp dimmer. So again, we get a very highly distorted waveform. Then we switch over to the harmonic analyzer, the fast Fourier transform. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually extend out the time base on this so we can get the full range of what's going on here. So we actually have a time base now of two and a half kilohertz per division. So let's see what we get if we change the dimming settings. So you can very clearly see that we get very strange harmonics depending on the settings that we choose with the various lamp dimmers. So there's no doubt that our mattress is filled with harmonics. So let's switch back to our normal display. And we're getting a strange waveform because of our time base. So let's switch back to our usual time base. So we're back on five milliseconds per division. And let's turn all the light bulbs on to full brightness. So we've got three dimming circuits on right now. I'm gonna turn on the last circuit, which is just standard light bulbs. So you can see that the voltage went up significantly. So let's vary the lamp dimmers now that we have everything switched on. So you can see we get some very strange waveforms on our mattress. And 
you probably wouldn't want to be sleeping on a mattress that had a waveform like that on it because there's a lot of very strange frequencies in that waveform and they may actually be quite harmful to human health. So that's my demonstration of harmonics and lamp dimmer waveforms on a metal coil mattress. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.